is that we are desperately sleep deprived. So let's now look at sleep deprivation. Huge sectors of society are sleep deprived, and let's look at our sleepometer. So in the 1950s, good data suggests that most of us were getting around about eight hours of sleep a night. Nowadays, we sleep one and a half to two hours less every night. So we're in the sort of six and a half hours every night league. For teenagers, it's, it's worse, much worse. They need nine hours for full brain performance, and many of them on a school night are only getting five hours of sleep. It's simply not enough. If we think about other sectors of society, the aged. Uh, if you are aged, then your ability to sleep in a single block is somewhat disrupted, and many sleep, again, less than five hours a night. Shift work. Shift work is extraordinary. Perhaps 20% of the working population, and the body clock does not shift with the demands of working at night. It's locked on to the same light-dark cycle that the rest of us. So when the poor old shift worker is going home to try and sleep during the day, desperately tired, the body clock is saying, wake up. This is the time to be awake. So the quality of sleep that you get as a night shift worker is usually very poor, again, in that sort of five-hour region. And then, of course, tens of millions of people suffer from jet lag. So, so who here has jet lag? Well, my goodness gracious. Um, well, thank you very much indeed for not falling asleep, because that's what your brain is craving. One of the things that the brain does is indulge in microsleeps, this involuntary falling asleep, and you have essentially no control over it. Now, microsleeps can be sort of somewhat embarrassing, but they can also be deadly. It's been estimated that 31% of drivers will fall asleep at the wheel at least once in their life. And in the US, the statistics are pretty good. 100,000 accidents on the freeway have been associated with tiredness, loss of vigilance, and falling asleep. 100,000 a year is extraordinary. At another level of terror, we dip into the tragic accidents at Chernobyl and indeed the Space Shuttle Challenger, which was so tragically lost. And in the investigations that followed those disasters, poor judgment as a result of extended shift work and loss of vigilance and tiredness was attributed to be a, ch a big chunk of, of those, those disasters. So, when you're tired and you lack sleep, you have poor memory, you have poor creativity, you have increased impulsiveness, and you have overall poor judgment. But my friends, it's so much worse than that. 